Skates and Candy is an online shop. We sell children's clothing and accessories. Um, all the clothes are manufactured here in South Africa. And yeah, that's about it. We were pregnant at the same time with our daughters. Aww. I'm sure you guys have heard the story. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when we were shopping for them, we were like, no, man, these, everything is the same. Everything is pink and everything is blue. Yeah. We have to come up with something different. And luckily, I had a fashion uh, label. So I, you know, I had the experience of starting a fashion label. Right. That's and interesting. Yeah. So that's how Skates and Candy was born. We literally wanted to um, make clothes that were neutral, fun colors, um, fun designs, and that kind of thing. It's been received really, really well. Um, we're very big on Instagram. So, you know, immediately when we post something, that's when we, we get an idea of how people are receiving our products. So we get that immediate response, which is mm. great. So we know, you know, what's working, what's not working. So, yeah, we're very grateful. Um, you know, people have been very, very, our clients have been very, very um, supportive. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we really, really appreciate it. The main challenge was the manufacturing issue. Um, we struggled. Our very first manufacturer d let us down in many, many ways. Quality of the clothes was bad. Uh, the workmanship uh, was bad. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest problem in South Africa right now. You have to go through a, uh, a series of, of manufacturers before you get the right one. Yeah. And obviously, you know, capital is also an issue. Mm -hmm. um, but luckily for us, we um, were part of an incubation called Away2, ah. and they sort of helped us with some of the, you know, the capital that we needed in the beginning phases of our business. If I think back, I wish that we'd actually had somebody that was already in the industry that could actually help us in terms of finding the right manufacturer, mm -hmm. you know, knowing where to find the right fabric, good quality fabric, because quality is everything for kids. So we've struggled there, you know, we've bought fabric only to find that, you know, it's, it's not the best and we've wasted money. But now, you know, we, we're sort of getting the hang of it. But yeah. I think for somebody that's getting into the industry, it would be great to just find a mentor that's in the, in the, in the industry. No. We don't have enough support. I think government can still do a bit more mm. because what happens is, um, you know, a different um, government department would advertise the fact that they fund SMMEs. But when you're part of that, um, um, that program, so to speak, you realize that there's so much red tape um, in order for you to access those funds. Mm. So I think they need to make it a little bit easier for SMMEs because right now it's a bit difficult to get uh, funding from the different institutions. The All banks right. are the worst, unfortunately, mm. I'm sorry to say. Um, the, too much red tape. They want too many things. And, you know, um, SMMEs or entrepreneurs get discouraged very early.